my brother. It's the loudest Tesla I've ever heard. <laughs> so it's the, gotta be the loudest Tesla I've ever heard. <laughs> in that short clip that I just sent. That was Matt from Warp Perception's YouTube channel, and he built some crazy stuff. He brought his cordless Tesla over. I can't tell you too much more about that, but if you wanna see it and see more of it in action, he's got a whole series on it on his channel, so go check that out if you've somehow stumbled across my channel and haven't seen Warp Perception, because he's uh, he's got a big following. He's got a lot of great projects and a lot of good stuff going on. Um, but he stopped by on the first destination on his cordless Tesla project, so if you want to see more of that, I'll leave some links below and you can follow his project in more detail. But he'll be back for a second video when we have the pontoon on the water shortly. So stay tuned for that. We'll have a lot of fun with Matt again. Get this jet engine fired up and onto the water. We've got our center console that arrived for the pontoon. So we got to put our gauges and all the controls and everything we need on there. Some of the stuff you can just buy at the store, which uh, you can see you got a pile of parts here, um, gauges and wiring contraptions and I don't know, all sorts of stuff. Um, but some of the stuff we have to make, like the throttle control. So we kind of measured up what real estate I have to work with here, where everything's gonna mount, where gauges and controls might be visible. So I've got the throttle control for the jet set up. You know, unfortunately that's uh, not a common thing like you can go buy off the internet. So I had to design the whole thing from scratch, which is fine, it'll look cool, it'll work well. It just takes a lot of hours to put together to draw it up and get it built. Let's get those parts cut out, we'll get the 3D printer fired up, print some of the labels for it, and uh, use the plasma table to cut the rest of our parts out. So I'll show you that real quick. One thing that we need to get finished up before we get this on the water now that I got all the parts here is the center console, the helm, where we're going to have all the controls. Um, I'll show you what it looks like bare before I cut it up and start adding stuff to it. So there's our center console. Obviously some drink holders, um, most important part. But uh, we got to get our steering wheel in here with all the steering linkage. I had to order a longer steering cable um, just for the position of where our steering is in relation to the motor. It's a little bit further apart than was on the original pontoon, no big deal. Got a new cable for that. Um, we're going to have some instruments here. Going to do just a couple square panels. Cut those out on the plasma table. Um, we'll have some gauges. Uh, we got all new gauges, um, except for the tachometer. That one's kind of specific to the jet, so that one's going to be reused. Um, but we also got electronic gauges. <clears throat> um versus the mechanical like oil pump and fuel pressure gauges that kind of thing so we've got a new uh egt temp gauge uh oil pressure fuel pressure and we've got some switches um just some simple backlit mechanical switches uh to control our main power on our lights um the fuel pump and then the igniter for the jet. So there'll be four switches in there for now, unless I think of some other stuff that I missed. Um, we've got our uh, throttle assembly mostly put together. Um, had to wait for some of these breadboards to come in. Gonna have to mount, there's a little uh, 
linear potentiometer here that's going to supply our 0 to 10 volt signal um, to the fuel pump uh, brushless motor to control the output of that fuel pump. Um, so I'll have to mount that on this board just inside of here. So we'll do that today as well. Um, that way when you move this lever forward and back, it uh, changes the output voltage of that LVDT. So pretty basic stuff. Um, we've got a new steering wheel. It's all fancy and stuff, so that's cool. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. So we'll get all that stuff cut out. We'll move the gauges over, do some of the wiring, some of the new sensors. I'm sure we're going to need a couple more fittings. Um, but I think once the helm's in, we can get that installed, get the seats bolted down, because we'll know exactly the position of those. And then it'll be some wiring. And then it's time for a water test. So guys, we're super close. Thanks for hanging in there. I know it's taking a few more videos maybe than we are hoping, but um, kind of a big project doing it by yourself for the most part too. So just hang in there. We'll get it on the water, I promise. Well guys, that worked out pretty well. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this for now. So you can see we got all our gauges. Everything's looking nice. Everything's working good. Um, our key switches for everything, our keys, our tech. We've got our fuel. Put our fuel in our EGT temp over here by the throttle because this is kind of really what directly uh, controls those two um, parameters. We got our switches, our fancy wheel. And uh, look around the back side here quick. We've got our steering assembly, but that's got to be inserted. We've got to wire our switches, the gauges. We've got our jet throttle, the attack and the oil pressure gauge, and our key switches. Well, with the helm all complete, let's just get this thing mounted up on the pontoon deck. Um, and then we can locate our seats and bolt everything down. So let's do a quick recap on where we're at with the pontoon project. If you've been following it from the beginning, you probably have a good idea of where it's at. Um, but if you're just joining the channel now, uh, it'll be a good recap and get to see the whole project before we get it in the water. So this is the pontoon, 25 foot crest three pontoon. The structure has been all reinforced underneath to support the weight of the jet, also for the additional speed. So you can see some of that support underneath there. So this pontoon is also sitting on a brand new Genesis trailer. 
these guys are local and they hooked me up with this trailer gave me a great deal so we can get this thing moved around safely wherever i want to take it because we're in michigan and we're running out of warm weather so there's a good chance this thing will make its way down south this winter to do some testing um, you can see the jet sitting up top that's been test fired and run it's ready to go on the pontoon a little bit of wiring is left there but not much one of the updates that i haven't shared uh, was putting this 25 horsepower johnson motor on the back when you're going to be at the boat launch you're going to have to have a way to back this up maneuver it around you're not going to be able to fire this jet up all the time um, also it gives us the opportunity to use this thing as a normal pontoon when you're not running the jet so you can still put it around and have some beers and hang out and do whatever you want um, and it'll be a little more efficient on fuel <laughs> but this thing is all done so we've got the steering rack mounted the gas line and the two-stroke fuel tank is inside the pontoon we've got our throttle linkage that's set up as well Bought this thing used, it came with everything I needed, so that was really handy, it saved a lot of time. We've got our linkage for our forward and reverse, that's all installed. We've got our steering cable, had to buy that new just because we needed the extra length. I think it's like a 22 foot cable. So that's all good, so now we have a way to power this thing and steer it. So let's climb up into the pontoon and I'll show you everything that's going on inside. Pretty sparse. Probably going to put some bench seating up front with some storage just to put things like anchors and ropes and that kind of stuff. But do not need that to get it on the water and get tested. So the center console that we've been working on, you can see, is all mounted. There's a little bit of wiring that has to be wrapped up in there, but we'll wrap that up. Uh, I probably won't film too much of that. It's kind of boring. Um, and I think everyone's just anxious to see this thing get on the water. So we've got our seats located, our helm and our steering, all this stuff's installed. Saw so earlier in the video making all these controls or jet throttle. The stuff that you didn't see is what's laying in the corner here. This needs to be mounted yet. Um, not a big deal, so we'll take care of it here shortly. This is the original uh, throttle and gear selector. So that's all complete, and it's got all the cable assemblies with it, and it works. This is our hydraulic starter. So this valve is what pumps hydraulic fluid into the bottom of that auxiliary power unit to turn this thing over to get it started. So that brings us back here to our hydraulic tank running our hydraulic pump off this 18 horsepower motor. This motor is now gonna be able to get started and stopped from the front of the helm. And that was what will start the jet engine up through the auxiliary power unit. The jet, Obviously, it's mounted on the pontoon. Um, there's a couple things that I mentioned that might be revisions in the future, but we do have some adjustability with this link to move the thrust angle up or down just to get on the water and get some testing, just to see what it likes. Then we'll go from there to figure out a permanent solution. Likely another hydraulic cylinder will be here, so you can use it as trim tabs on the fly. But again, we're just trying to get it on the water right now. I don't need everything hooked up perfect to do some testing. Obviously not going to go try to break some records or anything crazy from the beginning. Then we've got our oil tank over here. This lubricates all the bearings within the, the jet assembly. We've got our old school two-stroke fuel can that is going to be supplying fuel to that line for the outboard. Then we have a handful of electronic wires and things that need to be hooked up. That whole rat's nest will be gone. I have a multi-conductor cable, a junction box, fuses, circuit breaker, a battery, everything that's gonna be nice and neat mounted in here. It'll be run underneath the floor to our control panel inside this helm. So that'll look all nice and finished when it's done. Uh, the only other thing you don't see before this is ready to go is there's a 100 gallon fuel tank that's gonna sit across this center section in front of the jet. It's completed, it's built, it's painted. It just weighs 200 pounds, so I have a hard time picking it up and putting it in here without some help. Uh, so I'll enlist my neighbor when he's free, and we'll get that set in here too so I can finish the fuel plumbing. So guys, I think that wraps it up for now. The next video, there'll be some water testing, I promise. And uh, it's been a long time coming. I'm just as excited as anybody else ready to get this thing on the water. 
Uh, also keep an eye out that warp perception is going to come back on a second trip with this cordless Tesla. Here we'll do some testing on the water with the jet pontoon. It'll be a lot of fun. Thanks for following along. If you like the jet, if you like the pontoon, if you like the jet pontoon, the whole thing's just meant to be kind of fun. You know, we'll learn a bunch of stuff along the way. Uh, it's fun building projects like this, especially stuff as far as I know hasn't been done. So consider giving me a like and a subscribe and I promise we'll have a lot more fun projects like this. Maybe some more collabs with some other people. Uh, it's been fun for me, so I hope you guys are enjoying it too. I'll see you next time on the water.